Hey everybody, I've been out this morning early checking pasture, trying to see what's left in each pasture. We haven't had a lot of rain, so I'm trying to keep up. But I thought while I'm out here, this is going to be a good opportunity to let's sit down, do the math. How many sheep can I get on an acre of pasture? All right, when we talked about this the last time, I said you need to do a little homework. You talk to your county extension agent because every place is going to be different. But if you haven't done that yet, that's okay. You can follow along, save the video, subscribe if you haven't, so you can always come back to this video, check with your extension agent, and then you'll be able to tell exactly what's right for you. But for today, we're going to tell you what's right for me, and that way you'll have all how to do the math, how to figure it out, and then you can do it for yourself. All right, first two things we have to go through. And I don't have a whiteboard, so we're going to do it a little bit differently. We'll just put something up you can take a look at. All right, first two things we're going to have to do, AU and AUM. What do those mean? Because that's what you're going to have to know. AU, that's an animal unit. That is 1,000 pounds of animal. Now, I don't care if it's one 1,000-pound cow or 10 100-pound sheep. It's 1,000 pounds of animal. That's an animal unit. Animal unit month, all right? What's an animal unit month? That is the amount of forage one animal unit will consume in a month. Kind of simple, but it does get a little bit complicated as we go along. I had a hard time with animal unit month. The forage that a, a animal unit consumed in a month on the pasture. It was until I saw something that related it to hay. All right, every, I've had a lot of people ask me, and I've seen a lot of people ask, how much hay do I need to feed my sheep per day? And the normal figure that's always thrown around is 2.5% body weight. So if I have a 100-pound sheep, I need to feed it 2.5 pounds of hay a day. Well, it turns out that's the exact same for your forage for your pasture. So a animal unit is 1,000 pounds, they will consume 25 pounds of forage in a day, and we're gonna take that to a month. And if we take that times 30 days, we get 780 pounds. So if I have 10 100 pound ewes, they should eat 780 pounds of forage in a month. Now, how many sheep can I put on an acre? How much does one acre provide? How much forage can I get out of one acre of my pasture? And that is where we needed your extension agent so you can figure out what your animal unit month is. So let's start there next. Okay, this is the information you need from your county extension agent. Now you're going to ask them, what's the stocking rate, the carrying capacity for the pasture in my area? And the reason you have to know for yourself, I'm in Nebraska and I'm on the eastern end of the state. Nebraska itself is divided into four vegetative zones. So every one of them is a little different than the other. So not only do you have more vegetative stones in the state, how many states, how many countries are around the world? I've even noticed there's people in other countries watching my videos. Never thought I'd see that. But you need to know what the animal unit month is in your area. Talk to your kind of extension agent. They'll be able to help you with that. Now, in my area, there is no exact set number. After I tell you all that, there is a, what kind of grass do you have in your pasture? How many trees are there? Uh, do you have a lot of brush and stuff so you don't have as much grass? How much rain? And that can vary from one year to the next, so there is no set number. But there is kind of an average. And that's the one you're looking for is a kind of an average. Because then you'll have to see every year it could be a little different for you. In my area, eastern Nebraska, if I have pasture, let's say this right here, I'm not fertilizing it. I can run three to four animal unit months per acre. If I fertilize, I can have four to five animal unit months per acre. As I fertilize, I get more grazing done because of that. All right? So that's what it is for my area. Now, 
three to four, four to five. I did fertilize this year, I fertilized last year, but we're gonna split the difference right down the middle and go to four. We're gonna say my pasture will handle four animal unit months. I have a total here that my user using of three acres. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that four animal unit month times three acres, and that will give me a total of 12 animal unit month. That's the main figure I want. That's the one I want to know, 12 animal unit months. That's my carrying capacity for my pasture. But now, how long am I grazing? Three months, four months, six months, 10 months, 12 months, depends what part of the country you're in. All right, so we have to figure that out too. And that's what we're gonna do here in a bit. It's gonna be really simple once we get this far. I graze from May 1st till November 1st, six months. The sheep are kind of out on grass here a little bit in April, but I'm supplementing hay because it really hasn't gotten growing good yet until about May 1st till I figure the pasture can handle them. They don't need hay anymore. And by November 1st, I'm starting to supplement some hay, but they still may be out here, but I'm supplementing hay. Of course, that can vary from year to year. This year, you know what? I got some grass, but it's dry. And my three pastures for my rams, I'm afraid to start next month, I'm gonna have to start feeding them some hay. I'm not gonna have enough pasture, so as I said, it can vary every year. But we know, in my case, I have 12 animal unit months to work with. So now let's see how much the sheep, when I put them all together, and how long they're gonna graze, how does that compare? So now, what we have to do is take my sheep and turn them into animal units. How many animal units do I have with my sheep? All right, I presently have 12 ewes. 10 ewes I had, two lambs I held back. Ewe lambs I've held back. Painted desert are smaller than normal sheep. All right, than some of your other hair sheep. They can be, ewes can be 80 pounds, 90, 100, 110, maybe even 120 for big ewes. So we're gonna call them 100 pounds. We're gonna say I have 12 ewes that weigh 100 pounds each. That's a total of 1,200 pounds of ewes. Now an animal unit is 1,000. So my 12 ewes added up are gonna be 1.2 animal units. I got 1.2 animal units in my ewes. Now, 12 ewes, 10 older ewes, two lambs. I'm gonna call for 22 lambs next year. My 10 older ewes, they'll have twins. My two first timers will just have singles. So 22 lambs. And we're gonna say those lambs weigh 30 pounds. Now they're not gonna weigh 30 at the start, and they're gonna weigh more than 30 when they're weaned, but in the middle it's gonna be about 30. So if I take 22 lambs at 30 pounds, I get 660 pounds. We're gonna round that up to 700, and we're gonna call it 0.7 animal units. So my ewes are 1.2 animal units, the lambs are, are 0.7 animal units, so if I add them all together, they are 1.9 animal units. Now, I said I graze six months out of the year. May, June, and July, the lambs and the ewes are together. August, September, October, it's just the ewes. The lambs are gone. So, we need to figure this all out for how many months I'm grazing. So, May, June, and July, I have 1.9 animal units grazing my pasture, all right? I add that up for three months, and I get 5.7 animal unit months. Now, August, September, October, just the use, 1.2 animal units times three months, 3.6 animal units. So I have 5.7 for three months, 3.6 for three months. So, I'll put this all together, compared it to what my pasture capacity is, Let's see where I stand. All right, May, June, July, 5.7 animal unit months. August, September, October, 3.6 animal unit months. That gives me a total for six months of 9.3 animal unit months. And if you remember, I had four animal unit months times three acres, my total is 12. So I have the capacity for 12 animal unit months in all my pasture, and my sheep add up to 9.3.
so I have some leeway in there. So on a normal year, everything's fine, moisture's good. I should have sufficient grass on three acres to handle 12 ewes and 22 lambs. Some years that still may not work out because it's dry. We don't get the we don't get the moisture we normally get. But that gives me a kind of a ballpark to work with. It'll give you a rough shot. You can take the sheep you have, figure out how many animal units you have, check the extension agent, take that times your acres, and you'll know what your carrying capacity is and match them up. And that should give you a rough idea of what you can handle on the piece of ground that you have. But you've got to get what's local for you. You can't go by my numbers. They won't work for you. That is, unless you live next door to me. And none of you do, so it doesn't work for you guys then. Now, you got any questions, down in the description. I'll put my email down in the description if you've got any questions. You got any need any help. You get your numbers and you want help figuring yours out, email me at the email down in the description. I'll be glad to help you out. Anything, answer any questions I can on stuff like this. It can get a little complicated. <laughs> I had a little bit of problems when I was starting, especially those animal unit months were starting to get to me just a little bit. Took me a little bit to get that one down. And I had to have some help. So I will be here, help you out if you need it. And while you're down in the description, hey, you raise big horn sheep, you like t-shirts like this, you'll find a link for this. I make some, design some t-shirts. I sell them through uh, Amazon. And I appreciate any support I get from you. So you'll find a link to this t-shirt. Sometimes you'll see me with other shirts or hoodie jackets or stuff like that. I make those too. We'll get links to those when the time comes. But that is it. That should help you decide how many sheep can you raise on an acre of grass. All right, I got stuff to go do. We'll catch you next week.